hello everyone analytics said so regarding the euro usd i was watching this for a long time uh, i decided to go to the monthly chart and there were a couple of interesting things there uh, i'm not gonna talk about the wave structure mainly the volume because you know like here you see a significant rise in the volume this means you have to take this structure and this impulsive wave serious again let me draw so you can see a rise in the volume correction is a drop and with this one here we again had some sort of rise in the volume so this uh, uh, makes me uh, to think more towards an uptrend scenario instead we have two impulsive wave two rise of the volume even when com i compare it to the left hand side structure and when i again zoom in like for example go to the weekly chart you can perfectly see that you had a correction with a very huge amount of drop and then again a rise in the volume now if i go to the four hour chart sorry i think it was in the yeah in the daily one so first this structure although i was expecting this even to little bit come down more but this is a complete structure okay so this is complete and itself can be regarded as a like end of a correction we might see an x wave and come down but no one knows but i'm seeing a turn again in the volume and i'm having an impulsive wave so now if i go to the three hour chart the five wave impulsive hopefully is over and i'm hoping to see some sort of correction to this area and then i will start to think buying uh, instead of being a seller i think we should at least have one more wave up uh, if even one the market wants to come back down it should come to test this trend channel or this trend channel okay so i'm still giving it more chance for the market to have a correction and then another uptrend for EURUSD. Thanks for watching and have a good day.